steps that you plan for the next whole week Been too long for n- so cheap And your flex so deep, your sex so deep You got it, girl, you got it Hey everybody, welcome to back to the channel How's it going? Here is another pup box This is gonna be, what is this? April, May is pup box We're so far behind I know guys, I know, we're way off But neither here nor there let's just get into the box here we are you guys know how it looks already um it's currently like two o'clock in the morning or it's one in the morning 1 15 and as you can hear the dog is pretty hyperactive with his toys this time they sent they sent a very 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 small card um you guys know they usually come bigger uh this says uh oh something came up and oh, this is just talking about what dogs eat that they shouldn't eat. It's talking about what breakfast for a champ is. And it's saying Theo is in grown up stage three. Theo's actually, yeah, he's three years old now. Oh, you grown puppy. He's a grown man. <laughs> well, he's gonna be three later in the year, but yeah, this is saying he's in stage three. Hi, Ted, puppy. Um, so this just talks about some of the common breakfast menu items that are good for us but are not good for our dogs. It says every dog is different, which we all know. So I always check with your vet. It says um, organic eggs are an excellent sort of, uh, nutri a source of nutrients for your dogs. They're high in fatty acids, vitamins, protein, other essential minerals. Um, avoid raw eggs, of course, because we don't eat raw eggs. Like, not really. <laughs> um, avoid raw eggs, which could have salmonella okay to cook them hard boiled and chopped scrambled a supplement or treat but not for the main meal um and then it says avocados a little bit of flesh could be okay it says avocados have persian a toxin that could cause vomiting or diarrhea so basically don't give your dog avocado but a little flesh is okay which i will just not give them to them at all <laughs> um avoid skin pit also a choking hazard it leaves in other parts of the plant it's okay in small amounts so it says flesh lower concentration of person and typically uh considered safe for dogs i just wouldn't do it um it says the flesh is high in fat which could lead to upset stomach and or weight gain so it has all of those negative adverse effects for your dog so i just would avoid just giving it to them i'm pretty sure they're fine to live their lives without ever having to taste an avocado <laughs> your dog is going to be just fine and then it talks about bacon it says don't get don't give into the bacon begging <laughs> bacon is high in fat and salt avoid it's a no-no for pups um it causes pancreatitis or calorie or is not good for dogs with calorie controlled diets um it says most healthy dogs will be fine if they have a little piece of cooked bacon but it's very heavy and hard to digest instead just try dog treats that include bacon i do not give um, my dogs table food like whatsoever every now and then like they'll catch a french fry or something but that's about it but as far as like giving them table food no um the only type of like table food they have which i don't even consider table food is meals that we cook especially for them which is like boiled chicken and rice or something like that and we do give them eggs mixed in um carrots stuff like that but like table table food like greasy food no no bones definitely no 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 the bones those are just so bad for your dog um over the years i had to learn that as a dog owner i've never had like an incident happen with the bones but you know just trial and error you, you just learn like some things are just not good for your dogs and that's one of them i i learned over the years that even if they chew the bone and they look fine and they swallow it and they're not choking that the bones can still be a safety hazard it can cause like rips and things like that with their insides so yeah no no the bones i mean we don't eat bones right so why would your dog eat them? <laughs> why would your dog eat bones like we can't swallow bones i mean we probably can but we would choke or something like something crazy would happen so you know why is that okay for your doggy so i like stay away from bones but you know just certain things you learn about um giving your dogs dog food and stuff like that and like table food is just yeah i stray away especially ever since i watched that movie marley and me with matthew mcconaughey was matthew mcconaughey whatever his name is and his dog like got the upset stomach twice and the dog ended up dying from that 
stomach issue the second time around so ever since then i'm like oh no i can't give them the, the table food just no um so this talks about like i mentioned something came up about diarrhea and vomiting this talks about regurgitation which is basically you know thrown up <laughs> it says often right after eating usually per, um, preceded by burping or coughing and then it's undigested or it's covered in mucus and occasional occurrence is normal but frequent occurrences might be a sign of uh, dilated esophagus so that's regurgitation and then vomiting something usually preceded by head by heaving and reaching um it contains digested food or undigestible items and a fluid or a foam which if your dog's throwing up you see like uh, my dogs always throw up with a foamy like especially deal is just like a foamy white foamy thing um and then it says that uh common causes are toxins poisons for an object illness most of sickness or heat stroke which i mean a lot of things can cause your pup to throw up it doesn't have to be nothing major serious like that like we throw up all the time you know or time to time and sometimes it's just nothing it's just an upset stomach you know um and then it's saying if you think your pup ate any of the items such as like over-the-counter meds doctor prescribed meds uh bad human foods chocolate plants chemical vet products uh rodent sides and intestines and fertilizers then to call your vet or to call animal poison control immediately so yeah that's that's that so that's the card guys so let's just get into the box so here we have a kiwi <laughs> it's a kiwi ball of course it's squeaky uh oh let's take that off these pieces okay so it's a kiwi ball it's so cute it's squeaky we don't just Top it on the floor, and then we have what is this? A kiwi pie? What is this, guys? Is this a kiwi pie? I think this is a kiwi pie. Does it say the change crinkle? Oh, it's an avocado dog toast. So it crinkles and it squeaks. So there's the crinkle, and there's the infamous squeak. So this does both. I have the scissors. So I could cut this, but I honestly, I feel like this happens every video. Like, I bring the scissors right here, and then I just, I don't know where I put them at. But that's what this is. That's that. And then, what's this, a cocktail? Look, it's a cocktail. How cute. So, like, basically they're having a avocado toast with a cocktail. <laughs> this is so adorable. I just love this. What do they have about this in here? It's called a Buddy Mary. <laughs> so same as a squeaks, but it says it also. Here it is. Here's the crinkle up here and the toppings. How cute is this, guys? This is so cute. I love this. And then here we go with the treat. This one is pumpkin and honey. They've had pumpkin treats like this before, but this one is a honey recipe. And this is from what company? The Pet Gourmet. Trying to see if this is a Petco. No, this is not a Petco company. And it says small chew. So let's open this up and let's see what this looks like. Sorry guys, the camera just keeps going in and out. So let's open this up and see what this looks like. Um hold on. Teddy is patiently waiting for his. He said, Where is mine? Let's see how big these are. So they're they're not that big. They actually smell really good. So let's get one. Break these. You want a deal? Here, Ted. Come on, Papa. You gotta come over here, though. Here you go. He was just looking real crazy. So, that's that. This is from the Pet Gourmet, like I said. The ingredient, oh, the ingredients on this one. This one is gonna include pea flour, chickpea, pumpkin, coconut, glycerin, peppercorn flour, brewer's yeast, honey, cinnamon, ginger root, and sorbic acid and it says this is going to be best by october 18th of this year so cool how many proteins is, i mean our calories it's um 28 kcal per treat so that's that it smells amazing too guys and then the last treat we have are these um brunch bites so this is made with real bacon and eggs so this basically what they had what they were talking about on the card about 
by giving your dog the bacon and what type of eggs to give. Um, so they included a treat and this is a Petco. I mean, this is a Pop Box brand. So I, I realize that usually in these boxes, they always try to include a Pop Box brand treat and like a treat from another place. So these are like small little bites. And how many calories do these have? Um, 35k cal per treat. That's why they have more calories. They're so much more smaller. Probably because of the bacon, but ugh, it's, it's not weird. But this is what it looks like. It's just like in the shape of a little paw. I don't know how clear that is. It's not clear at all, but they're real tiny. Um, and this is what it looks like. The dogs right now are still working on their chills. So we'll put this off to the side and they can have this later. But yes guys that's all that came in the box i'm just i'm living for these two boys like these are just so freaking cute especially this i love this so cute i'm for it <laughs> oh theo you finished your treat okay well that's all we have in the video for today thank you guys for watching and sorry about the delay i'm gonna try to catch these up as soon as i can hopefully i can get this month because we're already in the month of june So if y'all could get June's box before July hits and then we can just carry on from there. Anyways, thank you guys for your continued support and for hanging out with me and my pups. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Party girl, you got, yeah. Pretty little thing, you gotta pick it now you wildin'. You just took it off the line on my list. Waiting you to DM looking fallin'. Talking while you come around and I'm silent. Through the Cooper 17, no guidance. You be staying low, but you know.